Dr. Romano. I see you're out here again working where it's nice and quiet. Hi, I'd like to go over with you a really great question on what we call a condensation reaction. For the D18, there's a few condensation reactions we need to know that are all in the DAT destroyer. One is called the aldol condensation. The other is a reaction known as the Clayson condensation and then a Diekman condensation. There's other condensations with crazy names which we don't need to know, but we need to know how to do the reaction. So come around and I want to show you something. What we're going to do is we're going to take cyclohexanol and treat it with KMnO4. And then once we get this product, I can call this A, I'm going to then hit it with sodium methoxide and ethanol to get a new product B. And then I'm going to treat it with this reagent, which you probably are not too familiar with, called diethyl carboxylate. And we're going to get the final product. As you can see, for the first step, that's an easy one. All I do is take the cyclohexanol and oxidize it to cyclohexanone. That's easy. And AOFL, which is sodium methoxide, simply removes off the acidic alpha proton to generate the nucleophile. Now, this is where it gets a little bit tricky. So what I want you to do is watch me. What we're going to do is we're going to take this and do a little tiny mechanism. I'm going to move these electrons, do a nucleophilic attack on the carbonyl. I'm actually attacking the antibonding orbital of the C double bond O. These electrons move out. And then the final step, I eject ethoxide and form my carbonyl compound. And that's the final answer. For the kids that are really good in mechanisms, what would happen now is you would come back, you would remove off the double alpha proton, reprotonate, but you get the same answer. So we're not going to be too concerned with that. This is the final answer. Now, if you wanted to do this really fast, here's what you could have done. You could, but I, I like to do this because this gives you the understanding. But all I simply did is I removed the alpha proton from one, and then I removed the O ethyl from the other, and then I put them together. And if you did that in one step, you would have got something like this. Um, I hope this helps. So as you can see, whenever we do a condensation reaction, we're making a larger molecule, but we usually split off a small molecule such as water or an alcohol. This is a must-have reaction. Even though you might not have been that familiar with it, you should be able to do a question like this. All right, I hope this helps, and I'll see you in the study group. Okay, Dr. Romano, what are you, do what are you doing now? Actually, I'm going back to studies. Good day to you. Good day to you, sir. Good day to you, Dr. Romano.